your first round pick of the Chargers. To me, Brian has the highest upside of any player in the draft, and it's easy to see why. His first step is unreal. Brian's athleticism is obvious, as his combine performance is one of the best for a defensive tackle over the last several years. Brian has very strong hands as well. It helps with his signature move, the push pull, and we'll get into that later. The traits are there, the splash plays are as well. Brian can even stop the run and occupy blockers, even if it's in an unconventional way. And I'll show you examples of that later as well. Now, it's all about Brian putting it all together. College, the best defensive linemen have a signature move. For Brian, it's his push pull. I say he has strong hands. Plays like this are the reason why. Ragdolls alignment. Keep his tackle to the bottom of the screen. Brings out Brian's aggressiveness, but it also displays the quickness as well. Check him out here. I describe this play. That's how I describe this move, really. And on this play as well, you get a peek at Brian's motor. Check him out here. He's a defensive tackle to the right side. Throws a lineman, makes a play. Brian's a defensive tackle to the left. And just because he's not involved in a play doesn't mean he can't win. Check him out. Another push pull move. Tosses the lineman. Having a go to move makes life easier because linemen are expecting that push pull and then you can counter off him. Brian's flashy ability to do just that. Here he is, the defensive tackle to the top of the screen. He's going to fire off like he usually does, but instead of pulling them, he's going to do the arm over. Check it out. Keeps the tackle to the top of the screen, fires off, and instead he rips through to the outside and gets around the guard. Tackle to the top of the screen. Here he is with a bull rush. 93. This is what that bull rush can look like. Keep the tackle to the left here. So you set them up with that push pull. You set them up, set them up. They're expecting, they're expecting it. So they lunge, and all of a sudden, that arm overcomes. He's flat on his face. Well, sunshine and rainbows with Brian. He has a lot to learn as far as just knowing what he can and can't do. There are times where he would just flat out turn his back against double team. Defensive tackle to the left here. His biggest issue is staying square against the run. to the bottom of the screen. The long run isn't because of him, but again, he has to stay square. He can't let the center pin him here. Check it out. It's pinned. Can't make a play. Tackle to the left here. And even though it doesn't have an impact on the play, it's still bad habits, and those are the things you want to shake. You want to get rid of these bad habits. Watch him turn his shoulders here instead of trying to stay square or fight through that block. doesn't stay square. All it leaves is it just leads to him getting washed out. As you can see, defensive tackle to the bottom of the screen. Doesn't stay square. Lineman gets a hold of him. There goes his gap. And you'll notice a trend here. Him reading these down blocks are not very good. He lacks awareness here, and he suffers from it, as does the rest of the defense. Big running. Tackle to the right here. He cannot give up this big of a lane. He has to maintain his gap. It's washed down. Four, five, six yards matter. Tackle to the bottom of the screen here. Other times it can get worse. It can even get uglier than this. Watch him get pancaked. Hey, just like know what you're doing. This is what I mean. Here, Brian lined up right over the center in the left guard. He just puts his head down and goes. No plan. And he gets buried. Eating grass on this play as well. And this is what happens when you fire up, pop straight up instead of firing out. He just doesn't give himself a chance. Each Brian's first step. It doesn't take long for you to realize it's special. Here he is, defensive tackle to the right, making a play because of that first step. Gets off, sheds, stop, second and short. Brian's speed, effort, and range are all top 10 traits. And that's why he was a pick. This is a first round play right here. He's going to fire off low, disengage, and he's going to finish. It's a violent play. And that's what you love. Over the course of a game, him being the first person off the ball is just going to cause so much disruption. Watch him here. 93 right, right over the middle. Forces a TFL. 
He's a defensive tackle to the right. And this is, again, what you cannot teach. His speed off the ball. He resets the line and tackle in the backfield. And then this is what he does. He gets a pass, speed, rip, sack. With the two edge rushers, Brian's going to have all type of space. And he's a defensive tackle to the left here. This is what he'll be able to do. This is what you see. This is why he was a pick at 17. His speed. The very next play, this is what happens. Again, you can't really teach this stuff. That's effort. Quickness. He's lined up right over the right guard here on the outside shoulder. And so you see him get washed out. These are the plays that you just kind of live with. Like th you live with that just because you know he's going to give you this. The speed, he's going to beat them and then blow plays up in the backfield. Clean somebody up. I mentioned gap integrity and running himself out of plays. Watch 93 over the left guard here. This is what I mean. He stands up, and if they're running that way, he just has no chance. So the biggest concern would just be running himself out of plays. Here he is, defensive tackle to the bottom of the screen. Just got to get heel depth. So he's a defensive tackle to the top of the screen here, and watch where this move takes him. Watch where this rip move takes him. How far out he gets. That's about four or five yards out from where he started. Defensive tackle to the bottom of the screen. And just like his good plays, just because it doesn't affect the player, there's no negative impact on the defense, doesn't mean that he did the right thing. He's going to run himself out of the play here. Watch how far it gets upfield. That's third and one. You don't want that. As of right now, his hand usage is just inconsistent. Too often he relies on that push-pull, and there's no counter. There's no second move coming. So he's, he needs to do that. Watch here. He doesn't have anything. He gets controlled by the line. Here he is, a defensive tackle to the top of the screen. And you just want some sort of plan, and he doesn't have a plan. He kind of just runs into the right guard with no plan, doesn't use his hands. His hands aren't even up, and he's just kind of kept at bay. This play here is a good example of he's right here. What you would like to see him have is just a counter. Lined up here over the right guard, another good example of having a counter. Maybe rip to the outside or spin back to the outside. Here he goes. Just kind of runs straight forward. No plan, really. One thing that stood out in each of the games that I watched with Brian is he didn't run upfield like a madman on screens. He read that linemen were not trying to block him, and he went to the running back to blow the play up. Here's a good example here. See that? Reads running back, goes to the screen. That's a really, really impressive play. That doesn't happen. It might not mean much. Like It's not a fancy play, but this is just really impressive that he doesn't run upfield and goes right to the running back. Here's a good example of him just flashing color. And this is what the Chargers want. They want to push the pocket, get the quarterback to move. Same idea here. Quarterback can't step up into the pocket because Bryant pushes his man back into his lap. Incomplete. Defensive tackle to the top of the screen. He's going to just rip. That's another one of his go-to moves. He's going to rip to the outside. He actually causes a holding penalty right there. The play prior to this, he ripped to the outside for a sack. Here he's going to rip the other way, get a QB hit, and the defense is going to get off the field. Here's another example of him. Defensive tackle to the top of the screen, ripping to the outside. He gets skinny. This is that athleticism that you just can't teach. Disrupts the throw. I mentioned how much space he's going to have. That's why this rip move is going to be so effective next year. He's going to see a lot of single, single teams. And against guards, he's way too athletic. for them. Here he is ripping for a QB hit. Brian might not have had first-round production as a whole, but he certainly has first-round plays. Here he is, defensive tackle to the bottom of the screen. This is the violence. This is the quickness that you want in your first-round pick. There were just enough plays all throughout his film where he held up against the run and he showed off his strength and that he can finish. Here's a good example right here. This is how you want him to play against the run. So he's a defensive tackle to the bottom of the screen. He's going to fire off the ball and he's going to occupy two blockers. That way the linebacker right behind him is going to be free to make a play. Defensive tackle to the left here. This is what high effort gets you. Watch him. He's going to occupy two blockers again in a different sense. Makes one guy miss. 
takes on the puller, and the linebacker can't make the play, but he did a great job there. It's late in the fourth quarter. You need to get off the field. These are the plays that you love to see. So defensive tackle to the right here. He's going to fire off. He's going to lock out, so he's not going to let the offensive lineman get into his pads. And then he's going to disengage. That's his strength. That's a football IQ that you love. Again, enough flashes. So here he's on the right side. He's going to hold at the point of attack, disengage, make a tackle for a loss. You can tell when a guy has strong hands when he puts his hands on you and you go down. This is what happens here. So he's lined up over the left, the right guard, sorry, and he's going to disengage and make another stop. Brian is a special athlete. He's also shown that the strength, effort, and his signature move can be taken in the first round. He'll need to fix some things, of course, like running himself out of plays and improving his hand usage. He needs to be consistent there, but the tool bag is obviously full. He has a chance to be very, very good. I think his floor is even higher than he's given credit for as well. I'd bet on him over some of the other space-eating defensive tackles that are going high in the draft. The Chargers did roll the dice here, but the odds are in their favor considering Bryant's surroundings and his impact that he can have as a pass rusher.